Welcome to A Taste of Italy Pizzeria. Joe, you sneak this in here? 
He's thinking about chicken parm today of all days. Jeez. Anyway, welcome everyone. Please be seated. <laughs> that was good. Thanks, thanks, thanks. We are gathered here today to witness the union of Nicole and Joe, two of the kindest, silliest, and since they found one another, uh -oh. <laughs> the luckiest people that I know. It's not in every lifetime that two people who are truly meant to end up together end up together, and yet, here we are. It's that luck and that love that we celebrate today as they begin their next chapter together. I'm positive that anyone who has ever been in the same room with them for even a second could attest that the love that they share for one another is radiant, if not contagious. It's that warm, limitless, and joyous kind of love that all of us hope to find. Typically at this part of the ceremony, we would do a reading or a poem, but when I sat down with them and asked if we wanted to do that, they said, no, just skip that part. Um, but I decided to go ahead and just like write a little poem anyway. So here's an original from me to you all. <laughs> the greatest love story ever told, Joe Queens College and his coal. Long Island, Valhalla, and Binghamton, backpacking in Europe, and soon Thailand. Around the world, may their stars always align, sealed with a kiss and an infinity sign. Thank you. <laughs> now the couple has prepared their own vows, which I'm sure will also rhyme, right? Okay. <laughs> so Nicole, we'll start with you. Yes, you want me to hold it for you? <laughs> no, I'll hold it. Okay. I guess, right? Yeah. Joe, if you could have married basketball, we would not be standing here today. <laughs> you have no idea how reassuring it is that my only competition is a bunch of six foot sweaty men and or an inanimate orange ball. <laughs> When we graduated grad school the first time, I thought I would maybe see you once or twice for a reunion. With you living upstate, we had physical bridges to conquer if we wanted to remain friends. Little did I know that we would become so much more than that. Two years later, our relationship grew and I moved into your family home for two months while the world shut down, which I credit your parents for even allowing me to do. Carolyn, Joe Sr., Jackie, Tom, and the rest of the Zimmermans and the Maddens have made me feel like a valued addition to this family since day one, and they give me another huge reason to be excited to spend the rest of my life with you. Over the past six years, we've done a lot. We've traveled, we've gone on vacations with friends, we've celebrated holidays and milestones with family, attended sporting events and concerts, graduated grad school a second time, what were we thinking? <laughs> Although we've been busy, some of the most quiet and intimate moments are what I've cherished the most, like going on nightly walks together, playing board games, and admiring homes that we'll never be able to afford. Each passing day with you is incredible, and it's, oh, please hold. <laughs> Interpretive dance time, let's go. Each passing day with you is incredible, and it's because of all the work you put in to make me feel effortlessly understood and loved. There's not a day that goes by where you don't find a way to make me laugh, even when I'm mad and trying really hard not to let you see that I'm laughing. Every day that I come home from work, you run and greet me at the door, making me feel valued and special from the second that I enter our home. You tell me you love me every single day and prove it by ensuring my caffeine needs are met. On any given day, I could have a roller coaster of emotions, but you consistently show me patience and kindness no matter what. For someone who is constantly overthinking, you make me feel secure and confident. All of your thoughtful actions have allowed our relationship to grow into something really powerful and have pushed me to be the best version of myself. You're one of the most genuine people I know, and I'm so lucky that I get to spend every day of the rest of my life with you. So here are my promises to you. I promise to force you to choose veggies over chips <laughs> so that we can live a long, healthy life together. <laughs> I promise to call your name from the other room every time I see a bug so that you can always feel like you're protecting our home. 
I promise to fall asleep every night wrapped up in your arms, even if it means waking up in a pool of your sweat. <laughs> I promise to maybe sometimes come and watch you play basketball, but to always encourage you to keep doing the things you're passionate about. And I promise to love you unconditionally each and every day and to make sure you never forget that. Joe, marrying you is one of the easiest decisions I've ever made. I'm excited to grow old together, to face new adventures, but most importantly, to keep enjoying the little moments in life together. I love you. Mine are not as uh, nicely typed up here, but we do what we gotta do. So, Nicole, we were friends two years before we started dating. Somewhere along the way, I caught feelings for you. I was hesitant to act on these feelings because your friendship meant so much to me. And if you didn't like me back, I didn't want to lose you from my life. Little did I know, taking a leap of faith and telling you how I felt would turn something I was afraid to lose into something so much greater. You look absolutely stunning today, but I'm not surprised because you are so beautiful every day. You truly mean everything to me. I'm excited to go through the journey of life with my best friend. I will be there by your side for the laughs, the tears, the ups and the downs. I promise to always share a bite of my food with you, even though I really want to eat it all myself. <laughs> there is no one else I want to spend the rest of my days with, and I look forward to what tomorrow has to offer us. I'd like you guys to please come up here and hold hands. <laughs> in lieu of rings, Nicole and Joe have chosen to solidify their bond with matching tattoos. Show the crowd. Ooh. <laughs> the infinity signs on their left hand symbolizes an endless connection and a promise of forever. Almost there. <laughs> Time to make the most important promise of your lives, and then we can go party. <laughs> Nicole, do you take Joe to be your husband, your homie for life, and the chocolate to your peanut butter? I do. <laughs> and do you, Joe, take Nicole to be your wife, your BFF, and the Jordan to your Pippin? <laughs> I do. Well, ladies and gentlemen, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> I like where we are when we drive in your car. I like where we are here. Sleep next to me. 